What's going on, everybody? I am that driving guy, and my office gets me where I'm going. If this is your first time, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, hit all. That way you're notified every time I drop a video. And this is another video about my little summary of Eat That Frog, uh, 21 Great Ways to Stop Procrastinating by Brian Tracy. This book has changed my life. There are a lot of tips in here um, that I've used and use every day still to this day that really helps keep me focused and keep me motivated and keep me accomplishing all of my goals. Um, it's a great book. And I'm just giving some of the tips from the book that have helped me the most and passing it on to you all, because, of course, this channel is all about helping each one teach one. Um, so the video is about um, thinking about long term. And that's one of the sections here in, in the book. So one thing that we should focus on is, is um, thinking about long term. Don't just think about today. Don't even just think about tomorrow or next week or next month we should be thinking at least 10 years ahead down the line and it's very difficult for people to because we make excuses on reasons why we can't well this is going on right now oh no one knows what's going to happen down the line i can't make plans that far ahead or whatever and that's why people stay behind because they don't take action immediately they don't plan ahead you know, they, they don't plan for the things that they need to plan for. And then when those times come, they're unprepared. Um, and that happens quite often. So um, in the book, it notes, it says that successful people are those who are willing to delay gratification and make sacrifices in the short term that they can enjoy far greater rewards in the long term. So successful people, wealthy people, the ones who are really doing it, they understand that I'm going to hold off for right now. I'm going to hold off for the short term satisfaction because that may that's going to be short lived. I'm going to hold out for the long term satisfaction that's going to last forever. You know, that's going to be long lived and they understand that and that and they plan ahead for those times. So those are things that we have to do is making sacrifices. You have to be willing to make the sacrifice and, and get your mind right and focus and say, you know what? I don't need this right now. You know, what I mean, this is not going to go anywhere. This is always going to be here. And you have to understand whatever it is, if it's. Uh, the, the females or the males or or the, the clubs, the party and whatever, that's always going to be there. It's not going anywhere. But your opportunities may pass. You understand? If you don't take action on those opportunities right away, they may pass. And you're going to lose out because you want all of that satisfaction right now. And that goes into a lot deeper levels as well. And a lot of it plays towards life. So, um, you know, it's very important, like I said, to think long term. Another thing that it says is if a task or activity has large potential positive consequences, make it a top priority and get started on it immediately. The only way to, to accomplish anything is to take action. You have to do something that I'm telling you this really has helped me because I wouldn't be doing these videos right now, you know, had it not been for some of the things that I've learned in this book, because I procrastinated on a lot of things in life and through this book and other things that I've read as well. Um, you know, it's, it's got me to the point where it's like, all right, time to get this done, get them out the way, eat the frog, so to speak. And get this out the way so that I don't have to worry about it. And I get it out the way now so that when the time comes when it's needed, hey, it's already done. You know, I'm already on to the next thing and accomplishing the next goal and making sure the next task is complete. You understand? So I'm staying ahead of the game. 
Um, so that's why you have to definitely go ahead and get it done immediately. But not only um, getting something done, but getting the high value activities done. That's one of the keys. Don't spend a lot of time just doing something. Do the things that are going to make the most impact. On and it says motivation requires motive. So the greater um, the potential, the positive potential impact that an action or behavior of yours has to your life, once you define it clearly, the more motivated you're going to be to overcome procrastination and get it done quickly. So the more motivated you are, obviously, you know, your motive your motivation has to have a motive. So you want to have a reason that you're doing the things that you're doing and be motivated because when you do things with a purpose, you're going to be motivated to accomplish those goals. You're going to be addicted to the habits that you created, the successful habits that you created. So that's your motive to stay motivated and accomplish those things quickly. Um, it goes on and it, it says, keep yourself focused forward and moving continuously towards accomplishing those goals uh, every single day. Do something that's gonna push you towards that goal and accomplishing that goal. Um, time is gonna pass anyway. You cannot stop time. It's going to pass regardless. You can't do everything. But you can do the most valuable things in your life, the things that are going to make the most impact in your life. And this is going to be a continuing theme as well in the videos that I make is you have to take action and you have to do the things that are going to bring the most value. Those are two important things. The question that you need to ask yourself is how you use your time. Is it going to be the most effective in my life? That's what you need to continuously ask yourself. Okay, what am I, what I'm doing right now? Is it going to push me towards my goal? Is it the most valuable thing that I can be doing right now to accomplish my goals? You have to ask yourself that every minute, every hour, every day, every week, month, you have to continuously ask yourself that because that's going to continuously drive you towards doing that thing. If you sit and you say, nah, you know what? I probably could be doing this. That brings more value. It'll get you focused to start doing that thing that is going to bring the most value to your life. It'll also help you um, set the proper priorities and make the best decisions. Once you have that clear path and you have those answers, it's going to eliminate the confusion and without the confusion you won't procrastinate because you know exactly where you need to go and you're going to be motivated to do it because you have motive so that's something else that has definitely helped me as well to help keep me pushing towards the things that i need to push towards um it's thinking about long term it's thinking about where i want to be how I want my life to be and doing those things now because past, present, and future all happen on the same timeline. Whatever you do at the present time becomes past and you learn from that and it affects the things that happen to you in the future. They all are aligned. If you like the video, if it got some if you got some value from it, if you learned anything from it, then go ahead and like the video. Um, if you have any tips, if you have the book and you have some things that can help other people that has helped you, drop it in the comments. If you want to go ahead and get your copy of Eat That Frog, go ahead in the description. The affiliate link is there and you can go ahead and get your copy. I appreciate you all again. And until next time, I'm a holler.